I can save you time, money, and sanity with these two tricks. You ever open up a project and it's completely disorganized and it's really difficult to do anything because it's one giant mess? Well, these tricks will help you fix that. So in D5 2.11, one of my favorite new features is the fact that we can actually organize our scenes. These are called scene groups. Think of them as little folders for your scenes. So they can collapse, you can expand, and, and then you can easily drag them into groups. There you go, so check that out. So now that's in there. So all you have to do is go right over here and click scene group. And I'm gonna call this tutorial group. And this is the name of my scene group or my folder. All I have to do is just drag a scene in there. And there we go. That's it. There's no reason for you to have 400 scenes and not have it be organized. Okay. So you've got that. And then what, in my opinion, goes hand in hand with scene groups are layers. Okay. I can't tell you how many projects I've opened up and they just have the default layer. That makes me really sad inside because you've got, let me just expand all this. You've got all these different assets in here, right? You've got people, cars, vegetation, models. I mean, how do you get any work done if you've got 1500 assets in here and nothing's organized? And why do layers go hand in hand with scenes? Well, you have to remember that scenes will remember camera position, camera settings, environment settings, visibility settings, and layer visibility settings. Like they're not just simple, stupid hotspots. These are intelligent scenes, okay? So if you don't know what I mean, if I just take this scene that I'm working on right now, and I'm just gonna make a copy. We'll call this toot copy. And watch this. Let's say I don't want any cars or people in it. And then I save the scene. I can switch between them and now they're there. Well, how do you easily move things to layers? Well, D5 or the team at D5 are clever enough to actually give us this awesome filter system. So you can filter by category or filter by name. So if you know the name of something, so if I just say car, you know, these will come up. Or like if I'm looking for a cyclist, I can just type in bicycle, cyclist, and it'll come up. So this is a handy way of searching and filtering. But the trick is once you find the category you want, let me just clear that out. All you have to do is just click the first one and go all the way to the very bottom, hold down shift, and you'll have all the lights selected. If you look up here, these correspond with your layers right over here. And if you don't know how to make a layer, just hit the plus button here. So I can easily just move this to a different layer and it's there. Like there's no reason not to be using layers. In less than five minutes, you can organize your project. So if you're mid project right now and you're like, oh, Andy's calling me out. I only have default layer. Just spend the time and do the layers. Like the other nice thing about the layers that you can think of it this way is you can handle design options this way. Cause right now we don't have like a dedicated variant manager. You could do option one, option two, option three, all on different layers, right? And then you toggle things on and off. That's a really handy, useful you know, way of managing this because then you can just name your scenes that. So I can't stress it enough that scenes aren't just dumb, you know, cameras, hotspots. No, they're sophisticated. You can get a lot out of them. So remember, you can filter through here. You can filter through here. You can even just, you know, click a bunch of things. And you'll notice I can't click this tree. Well, this is also another filter system. Since my light is selected, I can't select on my trees. If I switch back to all, then I can click on it. So the layer that it's on will always be here. The other thing with layers that's really, really nice is if you right click a layer, you can actually select all the objects. So if I select that, it selects all the buildings that I was using as context. If I select vegetation, it'll select all that. So this is another way if you need to move things to a different layer to easily grab them. So. Long story short, there's no excuses not to be organized, not to use this because it's, it's super handy. I mean, it's just like, just do it. Just, just make the layers, just make the scene groups, please, please. Um, and I bring all this up because, you know, at the, uh, the D5 webinar we recently did, um, you guys submitted hundreds of projects and I'm opening them up and I'm going through them and I'm just like, why, why, why aren't you using this? So anyways, that's my rant for today. Uh, if you have any questions about this, leave a comment. I'll get back to you because that's what I do. And as always, like and subscribe helps the channel out and I'll see you next time.